I've been blasting my way through Shop Titans content over the last week, and in this video, I want to do a review of everything I've experienced so far. And I want to give a big thank you at the front of the video to the makers of Shop Titans for sponsoring this series. They're celebrating the five year anniversary of the game. And I actually played the game when it first came out, and it's been really enlightening to go through and re experience the early game now that they've made so many improvements to the game. And the game is definitely very fun. If you're looking for something, to do and you're looking to collect stuff and build community, I think this is a good one. Ooh limited time offer. Hey, yo. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that we've got to go over here. So I'm going to go over all the different aspects of the game. And if you do want to download the game and check it out, use that link in the description. That's my sponsored link and it will support the channel. So let's do this overview of the game. First and foremost, the core game loop. You go in and you craft stuff and then you sell stuff. It's actually a pretty satisfying loop to hear the sounds come through of the coins that you're making. And I'll say this, the crafting is sufficiently complicated and there is enough depth here that you can stay quite busy with this for a long time. I uncovered only some of the very basic systems of crafting something over and over again to ge generate sort of benefits for that item. These are called milestones, okay? That includes unlocking new patterns, but also there is ascension. And I barely scratched the surface of the ascension, what I assume is end game. And there's a lot that you can do there. So the core loop of building up this collection of patterns, I found to be fairly satisfying and I found it rewarding when I found a pattern that was actually disproportionately valuable. It's this sucker right over here. I mean, I just went completely ham on these ice picks. I dropped the cost down. I ascended it a bunch. I mean, I am just flying with these, making a ton of money. All right. Now, in order to do more and more advancement with your shop, you do need to upgrade the things in your shop. So for example, one of the things that is the most important to upgrade, and I gotta, I gotta remove some of these people out of my area here. They're blocking my counter. Hold up, let me just make a quick buck. Woohoo! Oh yeah, okay. Now that I've done that, right? The counter right over here, the most important thing, but every single building you can upgrade within your city, okay? And you can go in, I guess I should say within your shop. I should clarify, we'll get to the city in a minute. Um, but doing these upgrades gives you boost to your energy. The energy is something that you're managing that is very critical. I'll do this three hour upgrade. It lets you surcharge. It lets you basically make more money, discount stuff, speed stuff up. So it's the equivalent of speed ups. This energy up top, very, very powerful, the red energy, all right? Um, now from here, in order to make rarer items. You need to get rarer crafting materials. And the place that you're getting crafting materials is in your city. Now, the city is really cool. All of these different buildings is a worker who is giving you some amount of resources into your city, and you invest in that worker in order to improve that worker in some way. So this particular worker, um, I think is going to make it so that I am producing more materials, okay? And it tells you, investing in this industry will speed up resource production. There it is, wood production. Uh, 9.5 per minute to 10 per minute. So these donations are not done alone. They're done with your guild, and we'll talk about the guild in just a minute here. But your city overall, I find to be a sort of satisfying investment. And even if you go to a different guild, that investment will come with you. But I'm still trying to get to the rare materials. So you're getting common materials from your city, okay? But rare materials you'll get from questing. And you can see, I actually have two quests ready to go here. One of them is a regular quest versus a troubling. I'm gonna take this thing out with my heroes and it's pretty straightforward for me and I'll get the loot, okay? You also have bosses that you can do periodically. The bosses are much tougher. You definitely wanna make sure to at least get those bosses done. I think it's every single day, but the cooldown will be listed in game here in just a second. So we knock this thing out, GG easy. Oh, I do have something that breaks here. I'm just gonna repair this with gold real quick and I get my items here. Boom, nice, level up, huge. So, dungeon upgrade. I mean, everything you do in this game is giving you upgrades toward one thing or another, which is very satisfying. Now, in order to do that quest, I had to have these heroes. These heroes I have started to collect, but you can get many more. You can go in here and fortunately, uh, I need to get to level 25 before I can add another hero slot. But if you just wanted to see, you hadn't seen yet, the hero creation screen, there are a ton of different types of heroes that you can go collect. Each of those heroes you outfit with gear, as I've done here. And there's a lot of nuance to this that like I have just barely scratched the surface, but I do find it satisfying. In addition, as you level them up, they unlock more skills and getting rare combinations of skills on your heroes is kind of the chase in the end game. Building new heroes, getting the rare skills and being able to do tougher and tougher things, okay? Now, this combination of heroes has been working really well for me. 
Basically, I bring a warrior archetype, a rogue archetype, a mage archetype on almost all my quests, but there are also champions you can collect. Now, I've only managed to unlock Argon so far, but I'm very close to unlocking Lilu. I've started to work on Sia, and I'm also working on Yami, and I've been able to work on that 100%, oh, almost 100% free to play. I did go and pick up one thing here, and I will say that this is a very free to play friendly game. Unlike other games that I've covered on this channel, like you, your city can't get attacked. You can't get raided. You can't get zero. You don't have troops you're losing, okay? So you can play at your pace. The only thing that will perhaps insist that you go at a different pace is your guild. And okay? now the guild is the collection of people that are in your city together, all investing toward the same merchants. You're literally sharing this same pool of merchants. Everybody gets the benefit of every single merchant that's here, okay? So getting into an awesome guild is a big deal. And the way to tell how much people are committing is to go into the investments and like, literally Knives is hard carrying our city right now with 133 mil invested. And I have like a total of, I don't know, a couple mil earned over the lifetime of my account. So let's see here, net worth. What is my net worth? Uh, yeah, 1.2 mil. So what I'm trying to make is getting into a great group that is active is a huge deal. They help you with your construction, obviously a big deal. There are also events that take place. For example, we've been blasting our way through this one right over here, the King's Caprice, and I've been covering this in my videos as I go. So not only okay, is there important community engagement and like I can pull up, uh, let's see here, if I go back to my city, oh, right over here, right? Like there's guild chat. There's also notifications of things that are happening in your guild. What I'm trying to make here is that it is definitely a team oriented game and it's all friendly. Like, I don't know, I, maybe there's rivalries between players in this game, but there's no PVP. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking at this game. This game is, I think, very casual friendly. You can spend to accelerate or not spend and have a great time either way. If what you're looking for is just progression of your own account at, rather than chasing the global leaderboards, which do exist by the way, and like do these accounts are insane, okay? <laughs> these accounts are completely bonkers, all right? But you can go at your own pace and just enjoy the game, which I have been doing and I have been enjoying, all right? So would I recommend this game? If you are interested in collection, if you are interested in the collection of heroes, crafting of patterns, um, learning patterns, opening loot crates periodically, this is a pretty fun game. Um, I find it pretty satisfying and I find the time flying by just selling the goods in my shop. And, uh, oh, oh, I'm an, I might be in trouble over here. The trouble in chief. Oh, huge crit, kind of. Actually, it was kind of a small crit. Oh, <laughs> GG. My boy's gonna need to rest after this fight, actually. Okay, we get the chief. I got a key, special loot obtained, very poggers. Um, I'm gonna show this and actually repair it with gold. GG, easy. A benefit of the monthly pass that I bought, I'd spent like 10 bucks, or it's like 10 bucks a month for the pass, but you can get this from their website. I'll have a link in the description uh, at a fraction of the cost. If you sign up for a year, it's like a two third discount, two thirds discount, one third discount, whatever it costs two two thirds of the original price, slash the price by a third. You know what I mean? All right, and a part of being a royal merchant is I get, for example, these extra boots, pretty sick. And I can go in and because I got that key, I can open up this chest. Let's go. Loot crate, what do we got? Glow shrooms, phoenix feather, elven wood. Oh, no rare patterns. I have gotten several of these rare patterns, which is kind of cool. Four out of six of these exclusive patterns, which is pretty sweet. So TLDR, I'm enjoying this game. Hero collection, awesome. Pattern collection, awesome. Community aspects, definitely fun. No PVP here. So if you're looking for a PVP game, this is really isn't it. There is leaderboards, there, there are leaderboards. There's comparison with other folks, but for the most part, this is about kind of bettering your own shop and community and hanging out with folks, which like, yeah, I, I, I'm enjoying it. It's a nice change of pace from super intense PVP battling, which seems to be all I do these days. Oh my God. So if you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here, consider subscribing. Big thank you again to the makers of Shop Titans for sponsoring me to go check this out. I remember back in the day, I starting a, started a town with King of Armenia. For those of you who remember him from Rise of Kingdoms, the dude was a super whale. And I remember he had his avatar completely covered in drip uh, the moment that he got the game. But 
it was a good time, you know? So if you want to check it out, links in the description. Thank you again for sponsoring this video, Makers of Shop Titans. I appreciate you. And if you're looking for their web store, link will also be down below. Till next time, my friends. You have fun smashing your enemies, or in the case of this game, uh, just growing your community. Check the cards in the end screen in case you missed the earlier videos in this series.